Hi, this video is to show you why you really need to be using big beautiful images on Twitter and what not to do. First, let's look at some examples of people using images really well. We're in my Twitter stream on a list that I call visual. This is a list I use to retweet the best content. I put people on it because they use images very well on Twitter. I'm going to scroll down in a manner that you might see someone use a smartphone scrolling quickly through everything and you'll notice when you see an image it'll catch your eye so pretty much what a lot of people are doing is just scrolling through the images stopping where one looks interesting and pretty much ignoring all of the stuff in between the images let's contrast that with my main Twitter stream. This is on my profile page and everyone that I'm following, which is 56,000 people right now, gets fed into this one place. Now you'll notice that there's mostly text on this page. So when I come to an image, that's very obvious and I'm more likely to click the retweet button or favorite it or go look at that post. And my philosophy at this point is if someone seriously wants me to see what's on their posts, they are going to put images in them. If they don't have an image in it, then they're not working very hard to get us to notice them. And we're not very likely to retweet it or click on it. So once again, I just reloaded it and now we're going to scroll through again. And this is an example of an image that's probably not going to get my attention unless there's some reason I want to see that brand, which isn't very likely. So the point of this is cute images like these alpacas are very likely to get my retweet and boring images aren't likely to do anything. Right now you have an advantage. Any image will get someone's attention. But eventually as everyone starts using images more regularly, if you don't have really compelling images, people aren't going to stop. And so compelling means full width bright colors. This one I might look at just because I want to know what the words are on it, but I have to click on it or a view photo and that's not as good as an image. I'm trying to find one that goes full width. So this one's not very compelling, but it tells me exactly what's there. So that's good because if that's what I wanted, I'm going to click on that. This one, you know, maybe hard to say. And so I just want you to get the feel for how you should use images. Now I want to show you how some of the big brands use images. They're actually uploading the images or pushing them out with a tool like Mav Social when they're in their own feed. But when they're being retweeted, like let's say I clicked on their great image and then I shared their content from their site, that's not what we're going to see what we're going to see is something like this and this you do not want to be doing all right you notice there's a lot of Forbes brands on here I'm actually looking at anything from Forbes that I might have shared because I know some of the writers there that have really great content so I look for their content and share it to use this type of Twitter card instead of a full size image is a bad idea I mean at least that one has a photo these that just say Forbes on them I know they're big on branding and they want to look very professional, but that is not a compelling way to do this. And so especially if you're not Forbes, don't do that. <laughs> Use those big, beautiful images like I showed you earlier, not that kind. And so we'll go back to the, this is Forbes in con contrast. See how beautiful that image is? That image has 321 retweets and 216 favorites. If it just said Forbes and a bunch of words, it would not have all these retweets and favorites. So that's the main point I wanted to get across in this quick video. Hopefully you can see now why you really need to be using big, beautiful, bright images in all of your content. Just in case you don't know what Twitter cards are, they're a way to pull an image out of your WordPress blog or other site and feed them automatically to Twitter as soon as someone shares your content. So they go to your site, they click the share Twitter button, 
and Twitter sucks that image in from your blog post. For that to work, you have to have featured images set in your blog posts. This is a blog post about how to get Twitter cards working that you can read on my blog. I'm going to scroll down here to show you that on the bottom on the right it says featured image and you click set featured image right there and then choose an image from that post or from your media library and place that as the selected featured image in your post. And there's lots of videos on YouTube on how to get Twitter cards working. There are also posts online on how to get it working. If you're using the Yoast SEO plugin, the configuration is built into the plugin. So you just have to go find the options and turn them on and tell it what kind of Twitter cards you want to use. The, I showed you a couple, one where it's a, a, a summary with a little image, the one you don't want, and the other where you have a big image just search online for Yoast Twitter cards you'll find a couple really good posts step-by-step step, how to get Twitter cards working in your site drop by my site growmap.com and you can read this post Twitter cards on your site two tips it'll help you get your Twitter cards working and your big beautiful images being automatically pulled into Twitter